you doing? Should we be on top of a roof on Friday the 13th? Likely not. Look what it did. It wrecked my baby. Friday the 13th did us dirty. <laughs> I can't get over it. Good morning. It is beautiful, finally. I think I'm even going to ditch the hat for the first time in four or five days. Except for a winter thaw, I don't really think I've seen water this far up on the pasture. We do get some on the corner after a big rain, but man, we've had too much rain. I think Mark said last night we're sitting at like four inches or something like that. It's okay, like there's a few days of sun next week, so he's really hoping to get back into soybean harvest, but time will tell as it always does. I'm gonna see how my golden girls are doing. I have a, feed, a couple feeders I think I want to adjust this morning, but before then, I would like to uh, say good morning to the ladies. Peeking your head around the corner. What are you doing? Come on, Chief. Ladies. Oh, there they are. <coughs> Hi. What are you two doing? You are like fully bird. Oh, my God, Peter. What a mess. Stay out of the burdock. <laughs> when are you guys going to go to the other barn, eh? Soon. I came in here last night to, to put in some bales and I just checked my feeders. Carissa had filled them yesterday morning, but they were still right to the spout. So I cleaned off the lip again and I'm like, I do wonder if uh, I need to open them up a little more. So I think on the female side, I will leave them as they are because they should sort of be on a restricted diet anyway right now. But the rams, I'd sort of like to have more of a real free choice experience. They're set at a really high setting as it is. I think they're at five, but I'm gonna maybe put it up a little bit more so that spacing's uh, a little more open for them. And just see what our feed consumption looks like if they're eating a little bit more. Now, when I cleaned it out yesterday, they weren't like slamming it. They weren't on it as if they hadn't ate all day. So unfortunately, the little tool that came with these feeders is MIA, so I have a pair of vice grips, but that little tool was so handy. Um, but the lambs must have knocked it off. This is what we're dealing with. I think I set these for five. So dirty it is already, you can't even see. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So I would imagine seven's wide open. That might be too far. So let's try for six and see what that does. All right, we got her figured out. I think this position is much better. I always want to see a little bit of corn in this lip. Not so much in here. What happens is if this is too uh, closed up too much, the moisture from their breath, it sort of like bungs it up a bit and then you're constantly cleaning this lip. So this is sort of what I want to see all the time. So we'll see if it stays like this or if their breath will once again cause a bit of a bung up. So this is six. I only went up one setting. So we've had a little change of plans. Charlie kind of bailed on me today. I don't know, something I think came up, but he might still be coming tomorrow. I was thinking that I should probably hoof trim Willow's group. It'd be the perfect opportunity just to get that knocked off the list before their breeding session. But if Charlie comes tomorrow, then they're gonna be in the way. So I'm sort of waiting to hear from him. He might come tomorrow. And if he comes tomorrow, then I can't do this today.
Okay, I'm gonna just spend today and tomorrow preparing because Charlie did in fact cancel. So he is not coming tomorrow either, which is okay. Um, I'm gonna get this group done over two days and I think Mark wants me later this afternoon to help move some scaffolding back at the cabin. He's fixing the combine right now. So we're all sort of busy, so it's fine. We'll sort of see what shape these are in. Um, it's been a few months since I think this group's been done. They don't look terrible, but we'll see what they look like when they're upside down. Your video Friday the 13th? She's gonna be called Friday the 13th did us dirty. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, it's almost lunchtime actually and I still haven't had breakfast so that tells you how good of a morning it's been. It is also Friday the 13th and what a Friday the 13th it has been. Carissa texted me. She was sort of halfway through filling up the TMR here for um, one of the rations and she said the tractor died, just died. And I'm like, is it out of fuel? She goes, well, the gauge doesn't say it is. We think it might be an injector pump that runs the fuel pump, something like that. Anyway, uh, it's not getting fuel. So then we grabbed the fence. We had the loader, the whole loader attachment off the fence. We went to put it on, it fell off. So then we try to wiggle it out and then I'm like, let's get the forklift. So we went to try to get the forklift, the forklift is dead. We have enough equipment around, we were able to make it work, but uh, it has just been, it's just, it's been Friday the 13th. <laughs> if you believe in any of that stuff, holy cow. I don't, but I do today. The plan today was to not even really be on shore duty at all. We want to put the chimney in because it's actually supposed to rain tonight. This bobcat, I don't know, we've put enough money in it, into it this year. We were looking at maybe getting a new one, newer one, new one or newer one, anyway, earlier this year and we've had so many major fixes that Mark's like, we've almost put into it what we bought it for used. So he's like, we, it's not as simple as just trading it in and getting a new one. I'm like, right. I hope everyone else is having a better day than us, but uh, this is, this is just how it rolls some days. This is the uh, loader attachment. So we were hooked, we were sort of lined up ready for it to come on and it tipped off and look what it did. It wrecked my baby. Boop. 
<laughs> Should we be on top of a roof on Friday the 13th? Likely not. Keep it from falling down when I put the big one on it. Okay. Oh, the right thing for it, so it's not really ideal. No. I'm happy to report that only a few curse words and no injuries have resulted in a new chimney. So Mark's just run in to get our, our fireproof silicone, I think it is. We have a couple beads we have to put on uh, the sort of the couple collars that's on this chimney. So yeah, he's been dreading this sort of all summer, so I'm glad it's up and done. Uh, so for the rest of the day, we're gonna get, we're gonna get that done, we're gonna get a fire brew in here, and then we actually bought some furniture, a couch and a chair, uh, probably a month or two ago, uh, just a rainy, probably a rainy day in August, honestly. We have a furniture store, a local furniture store, and they had like a clearance section, and we were like, we will take that, and we will take that. And they delivered it the next week, but it's been sitting in our trailer for like, yeah, like a couple months for sure. So yeah, this is, this is nice. Let's there be fire. I know. You could have rocked it. I'm going to be. Oh, you are going to be. Yeah, I'm going to do her the second night. Instead of Medusa? Yeah. Because yeah. it doesn't really matter that much. Doll. And then a, a cropped tanky top, do you think? Yeah. You need to go out here, Mom. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Good? Are these all the same? Like, does it matter which uh, no. one goes where? You could almost get another chair. Except that would be too tight. <laughs> Waited for that for a while. Oh. Good morning! I am on chore duty with Carissa because we need to use the fence because my telehandler is out of commission. Um, we've never really trained Carissa on the, on the uh, loader so for how many days, hopefully how many days, it won't be around uh, the telehandler that is. I think I'll just uh, help by, I'll, I will grab the feed for her and put it in the mixer and then she can do the cart work. So it makes chores actually really nice and quick, especially on a rainy gross day. You just want to kind of get in and out.
The only thing worse than a gross, rainy Saturday is needing groceries on a gross, rainy Saturday. However, we're gonna do that, and then I have to do one more craft for my fall collection launch that's happening in three days now. Today's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday. So I wanna show you guys the final one, and then I'm gonna show you all the products. I've actually got life organized so far, and I think I'll have this video out before the launch on Tuesday. That's the goal. So I'm gonna show you a little more behind the scenes because I've spent a lot of time sort of strategizing and thinking of creative ways to come up with uh, promoting what the ladies at Mariposa have been working so hard all year uh, trying to create for me. So you can see sort of the final presentation, the final reels over on my Instagram page. That's where I sort of uh, put that stuff. Okay, let's get some food. I think I'm gonna actually listen. I'm reading two books right now. I'm reading The XX, which is our book club read, and I'm like screaming through it, no pun intended. It's actually a really cute little read, and it's an easy read. I am really into the last of the Akatar series on Audible, A Quarter Silver Flames right now. So good. They changed the narrator, so it took me a while to, to get to like her, but now I'm like, I'm fully invested. I'm sitting in the grocery store parking lot and groceries have gone up exponentially this year, for sure. I mean, I don't try to listen to others, other people's conversations because I'm trying to like get in and out. But when I was unloading my groceries onto the belt, uh, there was a young couple beside me two little girls and just a nice couple and they were discussing you know what's on what's on this account what's on our visa when does that have to get paid off you know like it just this is a big deal it's a big deal in Canada for sure I'm sure it's a big deal worldwide um, I don't know if it's since COVID but just prices are sort of out of control the cost of living is just absolutely as depressing as this weather. Just got back from the grocery store and Jess is showing me a gift she got. I actually got from... it like a little while ago. But I... She just keeps forgetting to show it. So I wanted to show it because I'm obsessed. So I'll start from the beginning. Okay, so this is my custom made, fancy, uh, like reading journal. So she gave me some like little stickers, labels, more stickers like book rating stickers mm -hmm. and then a book library so you can like color it in when you read a book and then you can like track how many you read in a year mm. and then this is the actual reading journal part I can't believe she did all this no right this is so, nice. so this is where you can do the book reviews mm -hmm. reading notes this is like a um library tracking sheet. Oh, cool. So all the books like, you've read, sort of? Or all the books you own, too. You could do oh, neat. either or. And then this these, is crazy. So she made me stickers of all the books that I have shown or talked about on my channel, pretty much. That's crazy. I love it. Isn't that so yes. thoughtful? Yes. Oh, she even got, like, the, the ones that she knew were coming out soon. So oh. she got Wildfire. She got things left behind. Because, like, those weren't out when she sent it. This is, like, so thoughtful. It's, Insane. It's your love language. Some bullet paper and then more stickers at the Beauty. back here. I Isn't that it. so nice? Mm -hmm. And then she also did like um, tracing sheets so you can put it underneath. Because oh. you were struggling oh, with I'm, this. Yes. This is so what she, I want. She did it so it's like multiple oh, different fonts and sizes and stuff. And months. I might borrow those. Yeah, I think she mostly did them because I think you talked about it one time. I might have. Yeah, I think both you and your mom journal, this might be able to, you might be able to help you like when you put it under the sheet. Yeah, because I'm not creative enough for that. Might come in handy. I'm sure they will. This is really cool. Do you know who sent it to you? I don't know if I kept the name. Actually, I think the card I put in it. I did. Good job, Jess. <laughs> Good job. Is it from? Deborah. Thank you, Deborah. She wrote me a whole letter. Beauty. We were talking about how she doesn't have hair and how it's sort of nice when you get wet and you don't have to deal with this. The launch is happening 
Tuesday, which means basically all this week and this weekend, I've been just doing um, uh, website updating, figuring out my prices with my sister because we have to figure all that out and prices have like gone up drastically on everything, shipping, uh, suppliers, all the things. But the other things I've been doing is making like uh, promo videos for some of the stuff. So if you follow me on Instagram, I did one, I launched the first one this morning, this morning, Saturday. That's my three mini pumpies. They're so cute. The next one is the uh, three sheep fall needle felting kit. And I think it's in the other room because I was doing videos on it. The last thing is we did this last year. Um, if you remember in my wool video about a month ago when I went to tour Mariposa, they have, whenever there's uneven wool in the spinner machine, it can make your wool really have some like little flubs in it, like little, not mess ups, just sort, it doesn't, it just doesn't wind the same as the rest. Now this, these look really good. So I don't know, maybe I got lucky, but um, I said, don't throw them out because we don't like wasting anything. Um, and last year our idea, I said, make it into spooky will because it's scary because it's not perfect. And uh, we repeated that this year with the remaining uh, skeins that didn't spin 100%. There's two sizes. We got the worsted, this is just your two ply worsted four medium. So that, and these are the colors. How cute. And then, uh, and then we did a bulky. So this one's a five. The colors are very similar. Maybe a little more orange in this one. Orange, purple, green, brown, black. I think that's it. I said purple, right? Yeah. So anyway, these, this is my spooky wool collection. So for the promo video today, I found a ghost tutorial online. Trim the end and then carefully remove the yarn from the notebook, cardboard, or your hand. This is the stuff you guys don't see me do. It just miraculously happens. Okay, I hope I don't need my tutorial because I sort of need my phone to record. You need to get like a second phone for recording. I know. Or use my old one. It's in the living room right now. Ghost. Bulky wool. Eyes. What am I going to make my eyes out of? Do I do? Let's see if this connects. I don't know if it will. Oh, that did work. Nice. <laughs> She's so cute. You see? Okay, I went and grabbed my other little spooky ornaments that I did. So those are the felted ones. And then this is my spooky yarn. And then I found some old white bulky yarn. So I made a little white one. And I'm going to take these guys back to the cabin and we have like a spooky little setup. So I'm going to dangle them from the trees and take some good pics outside on this dreary day. And that will be the last sort of footage of my reel. That is, the, this is the brainchild. What do you think? They're adorable. They're supposed to be spooky. I mean spooky, they're so scary. Kinsey. 
Are you not hot? Oh, you have to get this diet. First day with the fireplace. You know, for being Saturday, I actually had a lot planned for today. I didn't finish hoof trimming the second part of Willow's breeding group here, so I'm going to do that for the rest of the afternoon just because it's a rainy day and I have to sort of reserve these days for getting my jobs crossed off the list. We finished. We had about 20 left and I looked at them like, I I'm not think I'm gonna be able to finish this. And then I just kept listening to my book and we're done. So that's amazing. Oh, she's so cute. Hi, baby. They're always together. <laughs>